All right, welcome back. It's still the Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We're moving away from uh, politics, uh, democracy, nation building, and all of that. Uh, we're moving on to uh, security and, of course, uh, rail transportation, uh, if you may. Well, I'm present. I have attacked a Kaduna bound train carrying hundreds of um, passengers. Uh, the train, which left Abuja at about 6 p.m., was attacked between Kantari and Regina. Now, the Kaduna State Gap and confirmed the attack but said it was successfully repelled. One of the passengers aboard the train, Anas Iro Danmusa, took to Facebook to solicit for prayers for those in the train. He said the young persons planted explosives on the rail which damaged the train's engine. Uh, joining us this time around to discuss this, we have a security expert, uh, Yakuza Getso, and uh, we hope to get uh, the MD of the Railway Corporation in a bit to give us uh, more insight on what exactly happened. But we'll just look at the security angles right now with Yakuza. Many thanks for joining us on The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa, Yakuza. Uh, good morning. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, good morning, viewers. Yes, it is a pleasure to have you. Yahoo's, uh, I'm trying to get uh, an understanding of what's really going on in Kaduna State right now. For quite some time, Kaduna has been in the news, not for, you know, for some cheering news, but basically for issues of uh, security concerns. And yesterday, just yesterday, we were, you know, just uh, surprised, not exactly surprised because it has happened before, but we were alarmed when we, uh, you know, heard a report of uh, the uh, train being attacked uh, in the wake of uh, an attack that happened at the airport just two days before. What exactly is really happening in Kaduna State uh, security-wise? Uh, what has the government failed to see, really? Yeah, who's that? Well, um, uh, good morning once again. Uh, actually, it's been a kind of um, a big embarrassment and um, a very disheartening and um, a kind of um, uh, a really discouraging um, issues around leadership, issues around who are these uh, bandits, what is the aim, what is the objective, what is the motive. Uh, I console and sympathize with those who um, are affected. Uh, the victims, uh, and um, I condole Kaduna State, Nigeria, and um, especially the families of those who lost their life. That is the 11 person that has been confirmed recently. And um, we hope and I pray that uh, those in captivity uh, will be negotiated and um, released, uh, or the effort of the forest marshal and the government uh, security forces will do everything needful to ensure that uh, they are first struck and um, brought, brought out uh, from their captivity. Uh, what is, has been going on in Kaduna State is really sad. It's really sad, disheartening. Um, Nigerian government under Buhari's watch, as I have been saying, uh, have uh, kind of a budgeted release, spent highest amount of money as far as... Um, uh, security is concerned since Nigeria's independence. But so sad, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, because of the uh, situation we find ourselves, whereby uh, the issues around recruitment of personnel, the issues around lack of synergy between the security uh, uh, um, outfits, uh, the issues of um, uh, kind of uh, confrontational use of um, uh, uh, competitive uh, situation or competitive arrangements between the security agencies have made it very difficult for us to achieve anything. Uh, we uh, really believe and uh, agree that uh, uh, government personnel are doing all the best they can, uh, even though, as I have been arguing, they are handcuffed because they don't have adequate uh, equipment, they don't have modern gadgets, they don't have... Um, uh, the number of personnel is uh, really not up to the task, uh, or up to the eight, up to 18 percent of the total uh, required need to face the challenges that the country is facing, and um, most of the arms and ammunition as well as the gadgets are outdated. Uh, so I we wonder and we find it very difficult to understand why some people are sabotaging the effort of the government because uh, really. 
this has two 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 uh, two things need to be looked into. One, there is uh, um, there is sabotage. Uh, two, there is negligence. Uh, and then um, three, there are issues around a uh, kind of uh, monitoring, tracking, and uh, supervising the the security formations as well as uh, uh, the issues around the feedback mechanism. Uh, sometimes back about a couple of months, uh, this uh, same trend line was attacked uh, at uh, night and uh, in the early hours. And um, those around those communities where yesterday's attack happened, uh, it has been a notorious communities, uh, though I have been saying that there are a number of outlying communities that are front uh, to, to be security uh, threats to anybody, any other commuter is using a um, uh, 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 kind of um, uh, road or using the, 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 the train uh, because those villages like uh, Akilibu, Gadamala, Momang, uh, um, Audu Wanja, Katari, Jere, um, among others, are really, really terrible hideout for these criminals. And we have been talking about it. Of course, our intelligence has been very weak. Uh, uh, and um, we have not been really mobilizing or utilizing the available information, intelligence information that we have been voluntarily sharing. Because as, as far as I'm concerned, I alone, uh, beside other professional and experts on security, intelligence and investigation, I know we have been providing uh, free services aimed at uh, providing information that could have been utilized in dealing with this situation decisively. Yeah, uh, of course, the political administration, that is the Kaduna State Government, uh, had been listening and uh, had been really in consultation with us, especially with me, in respect to the situation around the, the state, and they have been utilizing. And, uh, you know, what we have is the responsibility for us to speak and for us to provide the information. Uh, all right, Yahusa, yeah, if I just know. may interject, uh, uh, sorry about that. I really want to find out, uh, you know, from your preliminary investigation so far, you know, uh, from what happened yesterday, what can you really tell us exactly what went wrong? Um, what, uh, what are the feedbacks that you are getting right now? Well, from the feedback that I have gotten uh, from the government and um, uh, the, uh, some of the personnel of the uh, Nigeria Railway Corporation, even though it is a kind of an informal information, uh, um, uh, what, I, what I, 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 I got to know is uh, the criminals detonated bombs and they were shouting, uh, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, according to the information I have uh, from the informal, uh, uh, informally, because I have not gotten it from uh, the formal, uh, either from Kaduna State Government or from the Nigeria Railway Corporation, but Reza, from about a few people that were in the train and uh, some of the relatives of other people that, uh, uh, yes, they had the explosion, uh, the, 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 the bomb or the explosive exploded. And after exploding, then they started uh, receiving shootings sporadically. Uh, someone was with the, was the former deputy governor of Zampara State who was also shot at his leg. Uh, that is, um, uh, so... Uh, they, everybody was running shelter skelter uh, before they started to quickly, uh, some of those people that have contact with the authority, uh, quickly notify the Kaduna state government. And, um, you know, like you know, I have been criticizing the security uh, uh, leaders, especially the army generals, the commissioners of police, the AIGs, the DIGs, the comptrollers of uh, custom immigration and um, other security outfits that they have been kind of competing with nail quarters at the uh, train stations in order to obtain tickets to either go to Kaduna from Abuja or from Abuja uh, or from Kaduna to come to Abuja, which is not supposed to. Because if at all they did their work, if at all they have passion, they are patriotic, going by the inputs made by the Buhari administration in terms of resources, in terms of uh, financial resources and human resources, and available, providing available uh, uh, enabling environment for them to operate. They wouldn't have been struggling with nail quarters. How can you see a general, a whole major general, a whole commissioner of police, a whole 
uh, inspector general, uh, the deputy inspector general of police, sometimes even the inspector general of police himself cannot even fly the Kaduna Abuja road, less than 200 kilometers. This is really a shameful act, and um, it is really saddening. Even our governors, the governors of northwestern states and the governors of almost all the states of the federation that are crossing Abuja to Kaduna, they cannot fly the, same, the road, which is less than 200 kilometers. So uh, masses and common, ma common men have been left at the mercy of the criminals. Uh, they kidnap them and they ask them to sell out whatever they have in order to pay ransom. So government should sit to its responsibility. And I have been warning the government, and I'll repeat myself, this activity of these bandits yeah, and a, criminals yeah, get so. started from, yeah, was a, from yeah, was a get so. Just before we introduce our second guest briefly, uh, who joins the conversation. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of denial as at the time this information broke. I mean, the news uh, making the rounds late hours of yesterday. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of denial. Some people have tagged this as fake news. And this is the same thing that happened, uh, you know, with the Kaduna attack. So why are people, I mean, there's a lot of people saying this is wrong, nothing happened, uh, the fact that people are denying, and you still have some people who have spoken, you know, immediately, who have sent a distress call uh, from that train. So wh why do we have all of this re mixed reaction? Um, some people saying that this never happened, there was never an attack, as well, a matter of fact that... Because uh, people don't have confidence on the authority, and uh, it exposed the inability of the authority in most cases. Uh, to kind of provide the actual factual information. You know, Lai Mohammed have been, the Minister of Information has been saying that they know who are the sponsors of these criminals. Uh, min, uh, Attorney General and Minister of Justice have made mention this. A lot of uh, issues, uh, uh, conflicting issues between Nigerian Army and Nigerian Air Force and uh, uh, National Security Advisor as well as other security outfits and uh, some of the governors and uh, their lieutenants. So it is as a result of this, a kind of, we have politicized the issue of security. That is why sometimes those who are pro-government always try to quickly deny and uh, uh, kind of uh, send a signal that, no, it didn't happen because they don't want the reality to come out. They don't want right, people right, to know yeah, the... Uza, we quickly, we quickly need to bring in um, the railway corporation. Let's uh, get their own side of the story and uh, we'll try and um, talk to you in a bit again so we can just wrap up. But we have joining us right now, President of uh, uh, the Railway Union, uh, Workers' Union, Innocent RG. He's joining us uh, uh, via phone. Good morning to you, Innocent um, RG. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast. Oh, good morning. Thank you very much for can, having me. Can you exactly, can you tell us exactly what happened yesterday with uh, the the train, uh, the Kaduna Abuja train, and um, what is the situation right now as we speak? Okay, thank you very much. Though I have not been to the scene, but uh, I can readily confirm to you that our train was under attack yesterday, precisely around uh, 8 p.m. Uh, you see, this is not the first time this has happened. It has happened last year. But luckily, the train managed to escape from the, uh, the scene of attack. But unfortunately, these people this time around went and gathered momentum and strategies and now blasted the whole main line that covers almost 500 meters. So when the train got there at night, the whole train derailed bringing the train to a stop, because once the train derailed, there's just nothing the driver can do. So that now brought the train to a stop, according to the information I received from those that are still right there at the scene of the event, so that the, the, the attackers now forced the doors of the train open, kidnapped some people, and even killed some people. So the, yet, the number of those that were killed is yet to be ascertained by me, and then the number of people to map are yet to be ascertained because as at the time I spoke with them, the soldiers were there, the police were there, the Red Cross Society were there, and they are trying to evacuate the dead bodies and even the injured to the hospital. 
All right, very quickly, so very quickly, like Ido Center, we are almost out of time. But I just want to find, I just want to find out what exactly you know uh, has been done or was missed. You said that this is not the first time. We're all aware of that uh, when it happened um, last year, and it happened again yesterday. One would have thought that um, proactive uh, measures uh, would have been put in place to ensure that th things like this do not happen. As a union, uh, as a workers' union, no, uh, no, were you in consultation with uh, maybe the the, the railway corporation and uh, in, uh, well, did you have talks on security as per when that happened uh, last year and before now? So what what are what are the converse, conversations that you've had over time? Very yes, quickly. very good. God bless you. God bless you. After that time, we even threatened to stop the train from running at night because we had or we advised that if security cannot be adequate at night, the train shouldn't move at night because last time it was in the night. About the same time, and this time around, it's about the same time. So we have advice, and the uh, management of railway actually built up security on the train. So it's like the kidnappers or the bandits are aware of the number of security on the train and uh, how to attack. That is why they went and synergized and came and attacked the train, making the security on the train powerless. You know, so that is the situation we have been talking. And we have been advising time with that number. All but right. at times, the, 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 the information fell on that yet. All right, thank because you. The yeah. Thank you, Innocent. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm really sorry that we can't really take much of um, uh, from you right now because of um, time. Uh, but uh, we must say a very big thank you to you, uh, Innocent Ajiji uh, uh, of um, the Railway Corporation Workers. And of course, uh, Yahoo's uh, uh, Get a Security Expert who also join us. Thank you so much, gentlemen, uh, for your thoughts uh, uh, this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's been a great pleasure. And as the size of our conversation, if you missed out on any part of it, it's okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Boko. And I'm Justin Academy. Thanks for being a part of the show. Stand by for the news brief, which comes up momentarily. Stay with us.